Welcome to the Philippines' premier motor show. This is Autofocus. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of the Electronic Magazine, exclusive of the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A premium mid-size SUV from BMW, the X3 xDrive 20D, and a minivan from Maxxis, the G10 Elite. On Autopedia, we'll talk about fuel-saving devices. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two mid-sized SUVs, the next-gen Ford Territory Titanium versus the Toyota Ray's Turbo CVT. The next 60 Minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. to new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode of Electronic Magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from BMW. Car Review takes a look at the BMW X3 xDrive 20D business the German brand's entry into the premium mid-size SUV segment. It can't be denied that BMW has a ready market. Anything that German car maker rolls out surely have buyers already wanting to drive one home. The brand has built an image and reputation for turning out automobiles that exude class while providing sheer driving pleasure. Over the years, it has also evolved a look that is iconic yet always seems fresh and timeless. Car enthusiasts would immediately recognize a BMW when they see one going slow and stately in city streets or zooming past on open highways and empty country roads. This is especially true with the BMW X3 xDrive 20D business, the brand's entry in the premium midsize SUV segment at 4,708mm long, 2,138mm at its widest point, and 1,676mm tall with a 2,864mm long wheelbase. It must be said, however, the BMW describes the X3 as a sport activity vehicle. The iconic kidney grille is more angular and now in a single-piece frame with a black sensor bar in the middle. Underneath the full LED headlights, ever so slightly angled down, are vertical air intakes arranged in a triangular design to frame the new front bumper. The window frames and roof rails are finished in satin aluminum. The redesigned full LED taillights also look both modern and timeless coupled with new larger flush-fitting free-form exhaust trim. Completing the sporty look are roof rails and 18-inch light alloy wheels in V-spoke 618 design wrapped by 22560 R18 tires. Getting into the X3 is made easy with a BMW Comfort Access System, aka keyless entry with push-button start. A powered tailgate add to convenience in loading such things as luggage and sports gear. The refreshed X3 cabin is all about making the driver both comfortable and totally in control of the vehicle. It starts with electrically powered front sport seats with pronounced side bolsters. The seats are upholstered in high quality black Vernasca leather. Also wrapped in sport leather is the leather steering wheel with multiple buttons, switches and controls. The BMW X3 xDrive 20D comes with a freestanding central control display with touch function. 
Below the standard control display is the control panel for the standard 3-zone automatic air conditioning with integrated center vents. BMW has integrated much of the entertainment, communication, and information ecosystems in the X3. The BMW Live Cockpit Plus system in the X3 runs on BMW Operating System 7 that features BMW Intelligent Voice Control, connected music, and wireless smartphone integration with access to either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Some of these functions can also be controlled using the iDrive Touch controller found on the center console. The BMW X3 xDrive 20D business is powered by a 2-liter inline 4-cylinder engine with BMW twin-powered turbo technology that delivers a maximum 190 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. BMW claims this enables the SAV to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 7.9 seconds and reach a top speed of 213 km per hour. Power and torque are sent to all four wheels via an 8-speed Steptronic Sport Transmission and BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system. The X-Drive automatically and smoothly sends the precise amount of power to the front and rear wheels for added traction, stability and safety, depending on road surfaces and terrain, as well as the drive mode selected by the driver. BMW also expanded the range of advanced driver assistance systems in the X3 to enhance comfort, safety, as well as fuel efficiency. Standard systems include cruise control with braking function, automatic start-stop function, a tire pressure monitoring sensor, and what BMW calls the driving experience control with Eco Pro mode to reduce fuel consumption by encouraging a more sedate driving style. Added for safety are active protection, multiple airbags, crash sensor, interior and exterior mirror with automatic anti-dazzle function. BMW X3 xDrive 20D business can be considered an ideal model for those in the market for their first premium mid-size SUV from the German automaker. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track, and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS, bring on the thrill. Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Toyota Motor Philippines has publicly launched the all-new Wego at the Trinoma Activity Center in Quezon City. The new Wego features a bold redesign and improved technology and driving performance. TMP believes the new Wego will continue to be the starter Toyota or the first Toyota that people will buy. The Wego has become uh, one of the favorite vehicles in our lineup. With this new model, uh, we are showing the new features, the, the big changes in this uh, product, and we believe uh, it will continue to be a uh, good partner of uh, customers who are first time coming into the formal market, and uh, we will be able to showcase to them the new Wego. Toyota has sold more than 149,000 Wigos since the model was introduced in the country in 2014. The new Wigo comes in three variants. The Wigo J which comes with manual transmission and is priced at 609,000 pesos. The Wigo E priced at 684,000 pesos. 
and the top of the line Wego G, priced at 729,000 pesos, and comes with smart keyless entry and push start ignition system. 8 inch display audio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Honda Car Philippines also went to the mall to roll out the new city in Rio. Over four days, Honda showcased the refreshed city and Rio at the Mega Fashion Hall in SM Mega Mall. Aside from the refreshed look, the Honda City now comes with Honda Sensing in all variants, including the entry-level 1.5e CVT Honda Sensing, priced at 973,000 pesos. Top of the line is the 1.5 RS CVT Honda Sensing, priced at 1,128,000 pesos, and features newly crafted RS design front grille with RS emblem. New front and rear bumper with carbon wrapped lower molding, among other things. The new Rio is now more stylish with a top of the line 1.2 RS black top CVT, priced at 863,000 pesos, getting piano black RS design front grille, updated fog lights, and fog light garnish. RS design side sill lower garnish. Tailgate spoiler and RS design rear bumper lower garnish, and 15 inch RS design alloy wheels. During the launch, Honda assured buyers that availability of units will not be a problem. The Bio and the new city is available starting today in our dealership. Okay. And uh, we have to assure the customer that we have available stocks for them. No? There is no issue about the stocks for this new model. So if you are really interested in this model, you could visit our dealership and you could actually buy them now starting this afternoon in our dealership. Honda is targeting sales of 500 units a month for the city and 300 units a month for the Brio. We have a new city and the Brio and the, definitely this is one of the, our uh, top sellers on the Honda Cars Philippines. So we are expecting a monthly 500 units for the city and also 300 units for the Brio. The new generation 2024 Trax has arrived, signaling exciting times for the competent car company incorporated Chevrolet. We're very excited with the new products that are coming out with Chevrolet. We have five models coming out the next few quarters and we know that uh, our market has been very anticipating the new models from Chevrolet. So we look forward to bringing them all in and of course it starts with this new generation SUV, the Chevrolet Trax. Chevy Philippines is confident that 2024 Trax will be a hit with its target market. This is the new generation 2024 Trax. It's bigger, bolder, and more refined than the previous generation Trax model. Uh, it comes with a 1.2 lightweight turbo engine. Uh, it's a crossover SUV and it has a lot of safety features and a lot of comfort and convenience features that we feel are going to be very attractive to the target audience of young and confident go-getters and uh, achievers in the Philippines. It was eminently Instagrammable, or stuff for viral videos on social media. 20 identical new Almeras in moon pearl gray rolling down the streets. Following the unveiling of the new Almera at the Okada Hotel, Nisa and Philippines invited journalists and content creators to be part of the first Drive Binas event of the year. The event provided participants the opportunity to experience driving and riding in the new Almera with Nissan Connect services. The drive covered over 600 kilometers of driving through city streets, expressways, and country roads from Manila to San Juan La Union. First on the test drive, I think the most important part is that you can test the vehicle the safety, the responsiveness, uh, also a fuel consumption during the whole trip, and also the new things that the car brings, because we have a lot of new Nissan intelligent features for safety, but also we have the new design and the looks. We want also to, also to have a deep dive on the new technology, especially the connected car services, that you can try, that you can understand the features, that you can understand the capabilities uh, using from your fingertips with a smartphone, all the features that you can activate it through the smartphone. Nissan is inviting those looking for sedans to visit dealerships to check out the new Almera while assuring stocks are available for immediate delivery to buyers. So today we don't have a supply concern. We have already uh, passed that in terms that we can provide uh, customers 
uh, the units if the Almera if they go to our dealers. So I recommend that you go to the dealers and you can decide which color do you want. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We should take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile malls belong to the same category on Head to Head. This Head to Head pits the next generation Ford territory, titanium against the Toyota Race Turbo CVT in a spec to spec comparo. The local market is awash with SUVs and crossovers that meet various levels of wants, needs, and budgets. Let's take a look at what the next-gen territory titanium listed at $1.335 million offers in comparison to the Toyota Race Turbo CVT listed at $1.051 million. The next-gen territory is 4,630 millimeters long, 1,935 millimeters wide, and 1,706 millimeters tall with a 119mm minimum ground clearance and a 2,726mm long wheelbase. The Toyota Race is 4,030mm long, 1,710mm wide, and 1,605mm tall, with a ground clearance of 200mm. The new Ford Territory Titanium arrived with a commanding exterior that features honeycomb grill, signature daylight running lights, full LED headlights with automatic on-off function, front and rear fog lamps, chrome door handles, aluminum roof rails, rain-sensing windshield wipers, and power folding, power adjustable side mirrors with heater and side turn indicators, rear spoiler with high-mounted stop lamp, and 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 235-55-18 tires. The top-of-the-line Ray's 1.0 Turbo CVT features an exterior with a two-tone look with roof and two of three pillars blacked out, split-type LED headlamps with line guide, front LED sequential turn signal lamps, piano black rear back door garnish, power-adjusting outside rear-view mirrors with auto-fold function, daytime running lights, front halogen fog lamps, rear LED combination lamps, rear spoiler, fin-type antenna, 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 205-60R17 tires. Ford equipped the next-gen territory titanium with keyless entry with push-button start, partial leather perforated seats, 10-way power adjusting driver's seat, 4-way manually adjusting front passenger seats, rear seats that split and fold 60-40, and tilt and telescopic steering column. The Territory Titanium also features a 7-inch digital instrument cluster, dual-zone electronic automatic air conditioning with rear aircon vents, rear center armrest with cup holder, wireless charger, power windows, sun visors with illuminated mirrors. The Toyota Ray's 1.0 Turbo CVT comes with smart keyless entry and push-button start. The 5-seater Ray's features seats upholstered in fabric and synthetic leather material. The front seats manually adjust six ways for driver and four ways for passenger. The rear setback reclines and splits and folds 60-40. The top of the line Rays features a leather-wrapped steering wheel that manually tilts and comes with controls for the audio, multi-information display, power mode as well as paddle shifters. It is also equipped with power windows, illuminated entry system, automatic air conditioning, 
and speed sensing power door locks. The dash features digital meter cluster, 7-inch TFT multi-information display and fuel economy meter. Other standard features include seat back pockets, under seat tray, multiple cup and bottle holders, sun visors with vanity mirror, day and night rear view mirrors, 12 volt outlet, and USB chargers in front and back. The Territory Titanium infotainment system comes standard with a 12 inch colored touchscreen, voice recognition, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and wireless connectivity, Bluetooth, Type C and Type A USB ports, and six speakers. The Ray's infotainment system features a 9-inch touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, AM FM radio, USB, voice command, and six speakers. The next-gen territory is powered by an EcoBoost 1.5-liter engine that delivers 160 horsepower and 248 newton meters of torque, made it to a 7-speed automatic transmission with wet-type dual-clutch engagement system and a rotary shifter on the center console. This powertrain comes with four drive modes, Eco, Normal, Sport, and Mountain. The suspension on the next-gen territory features McPherson struts in front and multi-link independent system in the rear. The brakes feature ventilated front and solid rear discs. The top-of-line Rays is powered by a three-cylinder 998cc turbocharged 12-valve DOHC engine with VVTi technology that generates 98 PS and 140 Nm of torque. This is mated to a continuously variable transmission that drives the front wheels. The Ray suspension system uses front McPherson struts and rear torsion beams. The brake system uses front ventilated discs and lead trailing drums in the rear. Standard safety and driver assist tech in the Territory Titanium includes anti-lock brake system, electronic stability program with traction control, hill launch assist and hill descent control, cruise control, blind spot information system with rear cross traffic alert and door opening collision warning system. It also features a high definition 360 degree camera, front and rear parking sensors and active park assist. Also added for safety are three point seat belts, child safety rear door locks, ISO fixed child seat attachments, tire pressure monitoring system and six airbags. Toyota has equipped the Rays with anti-lock brake system, vehicle stability control, blind spot monitor, rear cross-traffic alert, and hill start assist control. Parking is made easier with back monitor with guideline and front and rear clearance sonar or sensors. Other standard safety features on the Rays include 3-point ELR seatbelt for 5, with a driver and front seat passenger also benefiting from force limiter and pretensioner. SRS airbags with a 1.0 turbo CVT also getting curtain air shield and side airbags, and child restraint system. The Rays also comes with a mobilizer and the Toyota vehicle security system. After checking out the specs and features of the next gen Ford Territory Titanium and a Toyota Rays 1.0 turbo CVT, which do you think offers more value for the listed price? Zoom UX. Take the lead. The Mitsubishi Strata athlete, confident to the core. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily ride or weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers.
Fixed Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services, as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fixed Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Mitsubishi teased us with what the brand's SUVs and other models will look like in the future by showcasing the XFC concept over a number of days at the Newport Mall. In this special feature, we discovered what the XFC concept is all about and what incoming Mitsubishi SUVs and cars will look like and feature soon or later. Hi everyone, we're here in Newport, Manila for the display of the XFC concept, which will be here from June 17 to 18. So this XFC concept was first unveiled in Vietnam in October of 2022 and we're very excited to have it here with us today. This XFC concept was developed specifically for the ASEAN market and includes such features as a drive mode system with uh, different modes uh, depending on road conditions including for flooded roads and the production model of this XFC concept, the final production model, will be unveiled in Indonesia this coming August 2023. So we're all very excited and uh, we'll be keeping you posted on this new model for Mitsubishi Motors. Thank you. the viewers of STV to the dealerships of Mitsubishi Motors Philippines. We have several dealerships nationwide to test drive our very popular models. We have of course our Montero Sport, our Mitsubishi Strada, Mitsubishi Mirage and Mirage G4 and of course our trusty L300. Thank you. A strong number two among local auto manufacturers and distributors, Mitsubishi promises to beef up its product lineup and introduce five new models in the next five years. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the Toyota we go. Life should be filled with stories to be liked and loved. Elevate your drive with the new Honda City. Take value and performance to the next level so you can view more places and check into new experiences. With Honda Sensing, you can do all these with peace of mind, with its modern design and advanced features. The new Honda City is for those who are ready to step up their game. The new Honda City. Elevate your drive. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car view this week. This car view takes a look at a large minivan quietly making its presence felt in the segment, the Maxus G10. There's a minivan drawing second looks on streets and the metro. It looks smart and stylish with sharp slanted character lines and curves and makes many ask the question, what is that minivan? What model? What brand? It's the Maxxis G10, and at 5,168mm long, 
1980 millimeters wide and 1928 millimeters tall with a 3198 millimeters wheelbase the g10 fits nicely into the large minivan or van territory the G10 possesses the basic look now favored by popular minivans and vans, the likes of the new High Ace, Star X, and perhaps this is what prompts the double takes. The setback projector halogen headlights catch the eye as does the bumper design with the cutaways framing the fog lamp. The rear combination lamps are not quite as eye-catching but do use LEDs. The rear also features fog lamps. The side view mirrors adjust electronically and have integrated turn lights. The Maxxis G10 is a 9-seat minivan with seats upholstered in leather fabric. The driver's seat can be adjusted 10 ways electronically, the front passenger's front ways. The sliding door opens to the rear cabin with four captain's chairs and the bench seat for three. The captain's chairs slide and reclines to get most legroom and comfort for four. The rear bench seat for three declines for comfort and tumbles to make space for luggage and other cargo. The dash is well laid out with easy to read dials and easy to reach controls. The leather on the four spoke steering wheel looks and feels good to grip. It also comes with the usual buttons and controls for audio and other functions. The G10 cabin provides comfort and convenience for all occupants. There are front and rear reading lights as well as front and rear air conditioning. Driver and front passenger benefit from power windows. A nod to today's need for powering devices is available 220 volt outlet. It comes with an audio system that features a 7 inch touchscreen display with USB and Bluetooth connectivity. The G10 is powered by a 1.9 liter turbocharged CRDI diesel engine that can deliver 150 PS and 350 Nm of torque and meets Euro 4 emission standards. Power and torque are sent to the rear wheels by a 6-speed automatic transmission. The Maxxis G10 provides both a stable and comfortable ride for a large van, riding on a suspension system featuring McPherson struts in front and 5-link coil springs in the rear. The brake system uses this on all four wheels, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Parking is made easier with front and rear parking sensors and a reverse camera. The G10 also comes with standard driver assist and safety technologies that include anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and cruise control. Added for safety and security are dual airbags for driver and front seat passenger, side airbags, 3-point seal bus for 9, Isofix child seat, and immobilizer. The Maxus G10 checks out a lot of boxes for a good large minivan and deserves a look-see and test drive from those looking for a daily drive for the family. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we will be talking about fuel-saving devices, whether they work or do they or do they not? For as long as there have been gasoline engines and fuel that goes into our cars, there will always be people who will try to sell you fuel-saving devices. Now, the hallmark of these things are like the pyramid scheme. More power, better efficiency, better mileage, Sometimes they attach a number to it, up to 30%. And if they're really great, up to 50%. Then this is the latest in the long line of them. This is the killer power box. This has been making the rounds of the various car clubs. And as with every fuel-saving device, the claims are always like this. More power, very satisfied customer feedback. Less usok. Okay, let's put it in the test, shall we? As with any claims of better power test, we always put the car on the dyno because very simple, the machine doesn't lie. It cannot lie even if we wanted it to. We've actually seen a number of these things over the years that we've been doing. DOST and DOE actually certify us to do the benchmark testing for anybody who wants to market these things and wants to get a certification from them. So we're gonna put this killer power box, install it on the engine, put it on the dyno and see that if it really does make power, and let's set the bar kind of low. We're happy with 10 horses. Doesn't need to be 30 horses, doesn't need to be 50. 10 horses will do fine.
absolutely no gain. <laughs> Wala. Zero gain. Absolutely none. <laughs> we'll do it one more time. Just to make sure and nobody can say anything. Yep, absolutely no gain whatsoever. <laughs> if you want to think about it, it's actually a slight power drop of about four horses. You will run into these kinds of devices on your Facebook feed, on your car groups, on your friends who will tell you that there's this latest power saving device. It's very simple. If they promise horsepower in double digit gains, fuel economy savings in also double digit gains, it is not true, don't even bother thinking twice, and then it is too cheap and too good to be true, it's definitely not true. So don't even bother wasting and asking, hey, does this work or not, and all of that. No, it's not. There might even, I've also seen some videos where they have some slick backstory about two college engineering students who were sued by the oil companies because their device saved fuel and all of that and the oil companies want to keep it buried. That's also not true and it's a 100% scam. Fuel saving device? Definitely not. There's only one place this belongs to and it's not your engine. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you found this episode of Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.